Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Count Christo and this is the Imperial British Campaign. Thank you for joining me. The Commonwealth of Nations is doing very well. Well, it looks like there were uh, lots of German raids in the channel while I was looking elsewhere. Ah, for which they paid quite dearly. Fabulous. They're expanding their dockyard facilities, it's about damn time. We've got 16 ships. <laughs> My North Sea scouting force appears to have taken some rather serious hits. Let's, uh, how many is attached here? Just one? We should, uh, we should reinforce that. What do we want this to be? Probably, yeah, heavy cruiser. Doesn't really need screen destroyers. It really wants some, some more scout destroyers. And maybe a, uh, a light cruiser or two as well would be good. Let's call that, uh, you know, one, two, one, two, eight, sure. I'd like two of those, ideally. We'll see how we do in terms of actually reinforcing those up. Get some decent anti-air cover there. Pretty good spotting. Nice. Okay, over in the east, we have a bunch of encircled Japanese divisions currently drawing their last breaths. Uh, ooh, and an interesting, interestingly timed offensive out of Hainan might mean we're going to be able to take the island much more easily than I was anticipating. Because, of course, when they launch offensives, that's when we have an opportunity to strike. We have some free sieves. Um, I would love... I mean, more mills do very rarely hurt. Um... What else could I do with? I mean, sure, slightly better radar in Egypt, which also would not hurt. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Retaking Hong Kong. I'd like. There's various things I'd like to build in Hong Kong. I think I'm going to build a few more. Yeah, mill factories. Let's just power out a bunch more military factories in the home countries, home counties, and, uh, well, the whole of England. UK, even, basically. Um, and that should be good. One of you are going to stay... going to switch into the uh, Siamese holding army. Not Siamese, the Vietnamese holding army. Make sure this port doesn't fall, because that could cause problems. And then, as soon as you take this, we'll move you south. Good. All right, this episode, surely... Soviets are going to call it and kick the bucket. They're uh, they're collapsing. They've got they've still got 300 divisions. That's really impressive, actually. But uh, yeah, I think the Soviets are probably going to die in this episode. Uh, China's not at war with Germany, are they? No, good. The Chinese United Front is not at war with Germany, which means as long as this whole area is owned by China, then uh, we won't see any German troops causing problems for us over here. Good. All right, begin pushing them back. We've got a lot of men here, but this crossing... Uh, not that bad, actually. Air cover, no doubt helping out a little bit. Can I fit some more planes in here? No, in fact, it would help if my allies fit less planes in there. But it's a difficult thing to communicate, unfortunately. Okay. Um, continuing to have lots of unsuccessful airstrikes over the med, but that, sorry, over the channel, that's okay. Mines in the channel are increasing. Not very many laid up here, but we are working on it. My Mediterranean strike force, now new and improved. I think, uh, I think if you two would like to merge together, uh, you should both be down here. Hello. No, stay here. Where are you? Ah, taking a slightly circuitous route because the central med is on a void. <laughs> um, what about if I set the Red Sea to a void and then the central and then the med is allowed? How will that change things? No, they'll be more keen to go to supply from that end, which I don't want. Well, how about we avoid here? But we base these guys out of Alexandria instead. This works. 
Still supplying more than I'd like. Right, yes, because we should put this on the lab again. Good. I want the supplies to go all the way around Africa. I mean, they should really go across Northern Africa, but, you know, oh well. We make do with what we have. Yeah, yeah, this, this naval invasion is struggling. Um, I think what we do is we just leave behind a few men here to hold the line, and the rest of us focus on more pressing matters, like pushing towards Hong Kong. Seems good to me. Excellent. All right, come on, Soviets. Call it. You ain't gonna win. Some Norwegian destroyers doing their best against German forces in the channel. Okay, and... Ugh, to get one of my subs. How dare they? We have... What is this? Just some spare... Right, including spare screen. Which I will immediately send to... Egypt. Good. Okay, we're in here. It's another pocketed division to be destroyed. Fabulous. Are you both assaulting me this time? Ooh, yes. This is an opportunity. Might be able to launch a counteroffensive right now. Should be grand. Oof, they're heavily beefed up just there, aren't they? Okay, well, um, perhaps a slightly more northern breakthrough to Hong Kong than I had anticipated will be required. Yeah, that was very foolish. It's going to allow us to easily clean out this island, I think, because of the low org they have after their failed attack. There's Kampfgroup. Great. We'll keep going to modern Blitzkrieg. What do we want? Desperate defense for the manpower. It is tempting, actually. Yes. I'm actually going to go left side, which I almost never do. But the manpower would just be very helpful. It would help us avoid having to go to... Uh, you know, service by requirements or anything like that, hurting our, our production. Seems good to me. All right, there we go. Port captured. Superb news. And of course, the rest of the island should fall in no time at all, given the total lack of supplies. Fabulous. You guys actually can come on here. You are not needed. Good. I sent two, didn't I? Yeah. Now, uh, we can also weaken the defenses down in Saigon, I think. Because our naval supremacy in the region is... Uh, not that we have naval supremacy around Saigon, but our potential naval supremacy in the region really diminishes the threat of any Japanese incursions down there. So, how do we get to Hong Kong? We go north slightly. We already have a convenient bridgehead right here. So we just move our men up that way. And then we'll be able to go through... Nice and easy. Might be able to do it straight away, in fact. Glorious. Meanwhile, in the north, line remains stagnant. Uh, yes, potential sir. for push. Could be identified here. There's the Comet Marksman. Excellent. Next up. Um, could get some better decryption, I think. It wouldn't go amiss. Uh, aircraft designer could absolutely be helpful. I will go with the light aircraft, as normal. And I think it's time to start taking focuses again. Um, I would love a carrier research bonus to allow me to build some 1940 carriers. <laughs> or maybe bypass them. Oh, and as soon as I start to move men away, there's an immediate Saigon attack. Which means I think what I'm going to do... Send out my main strike force. See if I can raid this with it. <clears throat> accompanied by the other one. See if we can get them in there. Please don't remain disengaged. Nice. Okay, this is a big freaking naval fight. They've got vastly more torpedo attack, but we've got uh, at least okay screening efficiency. Okay screening efficiency is not what you want to hear, though. That's how you lose capitals. But our vast air presence is annihilating their ship's organization. That's fantastic. Let's bring in some more ground-based planes. Yeah, we're losing, <coughs> we're losing ships, but I think when they start falling, they're gonna they're gonna go like dominoes. No? Yes. Okay. There's a one heavy ship, two heavy ships of theirs destroyed. Looks like we're gonna be able to take out at least a couple more cruisers. That was a tough fight. Tough indeed. But still, good trade, I think. Same number of light cruisers, same number of battleships lost, but they lost many times more destroyers. Excellent work. I don't have a general over here. 
No, I do. That's bizarre. We actually apparently have the fuel to have these guys be raiding in this area, which is kind of insane. So maybe I'll leave them to it. <laughs> oh, okay, another large Japanese force. No, we need to retreat from this. This is no good. Okay, uh, you guys need to repair right now. Disengage, disengage. Oof, that was bad fight. Bad fight. Oh, how many ships we're losing. Oh my god, the hood. Oh god. At least the CVs got out. Wow, that was really bad. We're going to need to bring over reinforcements as a matter of urgency. At least they were mostly old destroyers. But this is good. This will be the impetus that means I build new ships, like modern ships. Just get get to base. What's going on down here? Just, just some sub-action, okay. Okay, you, you can carry on raiding this area. That's fine. You should just merge into this fleet. You basically don't exist anymore. Good lord, that hurt. See the result? Yeah, pretty bad. I mean, we took out a decent number of enemy ships, but that was four capitals down. Yeah, you just can't fight with that low screening efficiency. It just doesn't it work. All right, good. And I know you've been telling me that. <laughs> and now, of course, they're immediately capitalizing on it with a naval invasion. Damn. Damn. All right, well, we do what we can. At least we didn't lose any carriers, although we did annihilate them. They're going to take a long time to repair. Very long time. Ouch. Well, our subs fight on. Making good headway with this push here, though, on the bright side. We'll just carry on with that. Looks like we're going to be able to get across this river. Which is excellent, of course. He's pilot promoted. Nice. We're going to need a new pride of our navy as well. Do we have something suitable in here? I mean, if it was going to be a screen, but uh, I'd rather not. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, you should also be patrolling, please. Good. Soviets, come on. Twitch late. We've got loads of oil now, though. Because of our uh, our vast oil import from the US, let's call that off until at least we need it again. We're in pretty good shape on that front right now, so I don't think we need to be spending all those civilian fact when we don't strictly need to. Ready, sir. Good, there's a front line Move out. getting thinned out. So I like to see let's see if we can get across Ready, this river sir. into that city. That would be even better. Japan slowly but steadily. They're losing ground. Okay, here's a naval invasion. 100% of it landing to the east of the port, interestingly enough. It's weird. Not even part of it actually hitting the port. It's not what I expect to see. Unless this is the rest of the invasion. Ah, damn. Detected my sub already. Get out of there, man. No, nope, hey, don't attack him, don't attack him. I was hoping you could arrive before he... Uh, before he landed, but looks like that's a fool's hope. I suppose I should have these guys on this side of Siam, like this. Could we still be able to capitulate them really quick? And this leaves them able to respond to naval invasions down near Saigon. Okay, sorry I'm <clears throat> talking quite quietly. My voice is, voice is really going for some reason. I think it's because I got woke up, woken up last night a lot by freaking... Uh, Fire alarm going off in a neighboring building. It was extremely loud. It went on for like four hours in the middle of the night. It was a real pain. But, you know, obviously, you can hardly object. It's important that fire alarms go off. <laughs> obviously. Struggling to push across there, but here, also struggling. Let's, uh, supply is a real issue. On this whole front at the moment, let's let's allow things to stagnate for a minute here, while we regroup, beef up some of these defense port, port defenses. And my active army is going to head further north. Oh, actually, just keep it spread for a minute here. Okay. 
Soviets? Soviets? Are you gonna are you gonna capitulate by any chance? Ninety one they've only made one percent progress in the last fifteen minutes. <laughs> okay. Um What else could we be doing right now? We could try and make some progress in the med. The problem with our navy, of course, is that we're trying to split it between three enemies. You know, Germans, Italians, and Japanese. We really had the Germans and the Italians on the ropes, but now we had to throw in the Japanese as well. That's when we quite understandably start having some problems. Give me a 2-1 scout set up here, please. And you guys can begin patrolling. No enemy ships here. No enemy ships here. How about here? Also, no enemy ships right here. No enemy ships, no enemy ships, no enemy ships, no enemy ships. Apparently, they've given up on the med. Well, I won't grumble too much about that. You are also going to go for a 10-1. Good. And yeah, if we find any enemies, we'll sally forth and deal with them. Good. Okay, over here, meanwhile, their attacks on our port have come to naught, which means we're going to be able to push them back into the sea. Say goodbye, naval invasion. Good. Japanese, down to 170 ships, so they want to see if we check ourselves right now. Yeah, also quite substantially down to almost less than 200, which is a blow compared to where we were earlier, but, you know, hey ho, we make do. Raiding in the Caribbean? Eh, it's going okay. Not a huge number of ships going, uh, sorry, of convoys going down. Well, that's quite a lot, though. Perhaps better, faster subs would would serve this task more effectively. But uh, I just don't really feel like I have the spare research slots right now. The tank brigade can get upgraded. It's going to get a bunch of anti-air. We're going to put a lot of anti-air in. Do I want to put anti-tank in. I don't think that I've seen the Germans using very many tanks. So I don't think I need to. I think that's what we're going to be working with when it comes to my tank brigades. Let's see how they do with uh, bring me three of those. How long will that take you? <clears throat> Only 120 days. <laughs> but of course that's assuming our production efficiency remains exactly constant, which naturally it will not. It will dramatically rise. All right, Comet Marksman with an upgraded, upgraded, upgraded anti-air system, please. Ah, balls! Didn't, didn't assign the factories very sensibly there. But that's okay. Probably want more like this. Sixty ten. Is that about right? I assume they cost something quite similar. The same, in fact. And what's the distribution in the uh, brigade? Hmm. There's slightly more than... Oh, God, there's substantially more than ten times more, actually. Okay. So, we'll go 10-10. Ten, ten. Sorry, 110, something like that. Maybe even less of these. <coughs> we actually have more planes than I know what to do with right now. Let's reduce down on those. Especially the sea gladiators. We've got just absolute butt-tons of them. All right, there we go. 110, good. 110 factories currently producing glorious tanks for the Imperial Army. And I'm actually going to I'm gonna call this episode slightly early because my voice is going. I just need to stop recording. This is only the second episode I've recorded. Oh, well. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.